taken off. Here we go. We are en route. Hello everyone. I am Haley Skrupa. This is Brittany Ott. On our way to the PWHPA Road to MSG. Follow along. And then flying in to the Thank you. Margo, any Ooh, thoughts? Okay. Just excited to get on the trip. Let's go. The road to MSG. We don't travel at all. This is the first time. <laughs> New wheel. <laughs> okay, you, Meg. Kick it all in. That is MSG right there. Madison Square Garden opened its doors in 1968. Yep, but host the Knicks, the Rangers, college basketball, boxing, wrestling, concerts, you name it. But tonight, for the first time, a professional women's hockey game will be played here at MSG. How cool is that? There it is. Looks like some good ice out there. Good lighting. Good lighting. We welcome you to Madison Square Garden, the 2021 Secret Cream Gap Tour. Minnesota takes on New Hampshire. Should be a great night. The opening face-off is moments away. Take a moment to look up at the most iconic ceiling in all of sports and entertainment, because you're about to bust through it. You have all done so much to advance hockey. Tonight, you will make history once again as you become the first women to play a professional hockey game at Madison Square Garden. And we are so proud of you because of this. Keep fighting for equality and equity that every woman deserves in every single sport. You're doing something bold, meaningful, long-lasting, and there's no better feeling. So go for it and let's play hockey! Billie Jean King, one of the all-time greats in the sport of tennis, founder of the Women's Sports Foundation. We are underway at Madison Square Garden. You know, I remember coming to games here when I was younger to watch and always dream about playing in iconic places, and this certainly is one of them. Minnesota in white and Hillary Knight, Lee Steckline. We've played Billy at some Crossman. NHL rinks before, but to be here at Madison Square Garden um, and to know it was a historic game for women's hockey, we were just really honored. Minnesota, I mean, this city just, like, I live here all the time, but it just puts energy inside of you. This is showtime. Now a shot score, Brianna Decker. That's what happens when you put the puck on net. Brianna Decker wanted to get on top for Women's Sports Foundation as soon as possible. It was surreal to be able to step onto the ice and with all these amazing women. Who's back in front? Score! Nice feed by Brianna Decker, knowing that Kessel was in front of the net. Growth of women's hockey, I think it's really going like this. I think when I was growing up, it was rare for a female to grow up and not have to play in, on the male side at all. Um, but now it seems like women's hockey is really taking off in a lot of states. It's the fastest growing sport in the United States. I knew the landscape of the game was changing when I would talk to girls and I asked them why they got involved with hockey and they said because I saw another girl play and they knew there was a place for them in this sport and so they started playing. The cross was blocked off and now they score! She can't be stopped. The young girls to be able to see us out there playing in these huge arenas, they have something to aspire to be. Because we saw what it was like when the 98 team did it and how much they impacted us that we're like, we're so excited to share this experience with all of the young girls who are going to come after us. Out, and then moving in with a shot of Skarupa, she scores! Such a great heads up. And it's an honor to be a role model for those girls. First period comes to an end. What a start. 3-1, New Hampshire. Sometimes we forget what a role that we can play in a young girl's life. Booth, and we are honored to welcome in the great Billie Jean King as we get set for the second period. What does it mean to you to be here tonight? Well, it means so much because uh, these women that play hockey, I mean, it's just amazing. When you think of the opportunities that Billie Jean King has created for so many girls and women, not only in sport, but in life. It's our job to continue that momentum. You have to see it to be it. And it's important that we have sheroes and heroes, that all genders get a chance to play. brought with a shot. That's handled by Cavallini. And women hockey players have not really had a proper league like the NHL. Oh, 
goodness, Savannah Harmon. The women that you're seeing on the ice tonight, uh, when they were little girls, they didn't really have the platform like the men. Everybody you're seeing on TV were players in the NHL, so the girls were aspiring to play in the NHL only to be told time and time again they couldn't. 40% of the crowd that comes to watch the NHL are women, and they need to be represented just like the men. I think our sport will be better, more diverse, and more inclusive when we get more women involved. Even coaching positions, scouting positions, you're seeing really women break into the men's side, and I think it's only gonna go up from there. No scoring in the second period, although Minnesota came close. 40 minutes in the books here at Madison Square Garden. Welcome back to the Garden Knights, the team women's sports foundation. A game like this um, to be broadcasted as well is, is um, an important opportunity for professional women's sports, and specifically ice hockey. Hillary Knight with a blast, she scores! She said it was going in and it went. I'm hoping that that young girl is, is looking at the TV and saying, hey, like that's going to be me one day. A few years ago, people probably wouldn't have thought that it would be possible. Power play goal, they convert on a five on three. It but is we just keep pushing, and the New York Rangers, for them to step up, Bauer, all of our sponsors, you know, they believe in us, we believe in us. Just an enormous opportunity for women's hockey and for the PWHPA. You could feel how special it was to be out there and represent professional women's hockey and to know how big of a stage we were able to play on tonight was pretty cool. In a 4-3 victory for New Hampshire. Such an amazing game at Madison Square Garden. We're super grateful for all these opportunities, but we're not satisfied. You know, we have to keep going, keep pushing the envelope. Leaving the game in better shape than we found it. It's as simple as that. We had many amazing pioneers move the sport forward as far as they could, and then it was left to us. And it was this culmination of looking around the room, being like, oh my gosh, if not us, then who? And their teammates on the ice tonight here at MSG. And they're all friends, look at that. They're proud of each other. A momentous day for women in hockey. We went down the PWHPA route to build a better future for this next generation. If we can plant some trees and be a small part of this, this next generation's success, that's what we want to do. And we want to one day be able to watch them play in a true professional league and, and make a living wage and be supported by the entire world. It's just keep going, keep pushing, and slowly but surely we will get there. We will.